Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Celebrity Big Brother 2 episode chat. Uh, it's episode 12 and it's pile of garbage. It's the recap episode and usually these have some good stuff. This one did not. I feel like they showed us a lot of stuff that we've already seen. Yeah. You, you know, like we there's been so <sighs> many like fights and stuff that they've blocked out from the feeds and I was like, oh, maybe we'll get to see those. No. On this episode, but no, okay, we got to see an extended cut of the freaking fish fight, which we'll get to, but All whatever. Right. Alright, so last time Natalie and Tom were evicted mm -hmm. and the show died. Now we're at the final Stop. boring five. I mean, there's still some craziness uh, potential here, but yeah. it's not the same. Alright, so it's like in Survivor when you make the final two or three, whatever, mm -hmm. and they give you the food and the champagne. They don't have anybody show up, but they did on Big Brother because these people are trapped. <laughs> so they, um, I don't know why they had to have Mark McGrath show up. Because he's fun. Who doesn't love Mark McGrath? See, well, I guess they suck so much that they had to have an outsider come in. I think they were planning on doing that anyway. I don't know. <laughs> well, I thought it was nice to see Mark McGrath. And just to let you guys know, this breakfast actually happened after the HOH competition, but they don't want to say who won until the finale. But if you guys want to know, you can check out the spoiler videos because it's all in there. So it's a walk down memory lane. Okay, let's talk about um, how Mooch was on the show for like five minutes. Was it a publicity stunt or did he quit and they tried to cover it up? It was uh, a publicity stunt. I s I'm still thinking sure. publicity stunt, but I know the fandom is like split on it still. I was um, surprised that they brought up the fact that Trump doesn't have a dog. Yeah, why does he? Not what kind of psycho doesn't have a dog unless he's allergic? I thought pretty much every president had some sort of a pet. Yeah, right. Well, I'm, anyway, Tamar was like, oh, I thought he was the dog. <laughs> what do you think about um, the mooch? I was enjoying what I was seeing of him so far. I mean, we didn't get to see much of him, but I wanted to know more about who he really was. I think he had a very dry sense of humor, and um, it was kind of annoying for the average person. I don't know. It seemed like they all really I, liked him. Uh, no, I mean, who was watching? Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I think part of it was just, like, the cheesy shit that he was saying that they were making him say for that competition. Yeah. So, like, if he wasn't saying that stuff, I don't think it would have been the same, you know? It seemed like every time the feed was on him or whatever, he all he was talking about was taking a dump. Oh! Did he ever get to use that HOH bathroom? I don't know, but I remember one time we were watching the sneak peek and the, and the feed started up and it was like, well, it can't be avoided. People are going to have to go in there. Oh, and yeah. He was definitely talking about stinking up the toilet. Oh, no. All right, well, I would have liked to have seen more of him on the show and I don't like the, their cheap excuse for um, having him leave. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway. Lolo and Natalie. Remember when uh, they went in the bedroom and Tamar was laying in the bed in full sight? And Natalie was like... Completely oblivious. Yeah, what are we going to name our alliance? Our final two alliance? Just the two of us, no one else. <laughs> um, I Why don't you call it Busted.com? This was funny the first time, but... I feel like there were so many other things that they could have shown us that we haven't seen yet. Like, I didn't need to see it again. But I thought Busted.com was a great alliance name. What'd you think about the whole punch in the throat thing? I mean, okay, when the, the season first started and we saw Tamar get into those arguments, we all thought that Tamar was going to be, like, the big arguer this season. But no, it was it's Lolo. Lolo. I mean, they've both gotten in their fair share of scraps, but whoa, Lolo can turn so fast. Uh, you don't think Tamar can? No, I think they both oh. can, but I'm pretty yeah. sure Lolo has gotten into more arguments with people than Tamar has. Who do you think misunderstands more? <laughs> Lolo or Tamar? Now that is really tricky because they both do. 
Yeah. And they both way overreact to everything. Mm -hmm. Making mountains out of molehills. It's a house yeah. full of mountains right now. <laughs> All right. Tom was the messiest. <laughs> but Joey... He's got a problem. They showed Joey looking at that towel on the bathroom floor, but I believe one morning Tom left his dirty underwear near the shower on the floor and Joey was about to have a freaking meltdown. And I wish they had shown that. Yeah. Unless that was him looking at the underwear and they edited it to look like it was the towel. Oh, maybe because they didn't want to show uh, Tom's dirty underwear. Dirty underwear. <laughs> Yeah, Joey um, was a lot. At least he kept the house clean, right? When the water is at 37 degrees <laughs> and not 34, this refrigerator is not problem. keeping anything cold. It's not working. Just, come on, guys. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that was like the first night, right? And you could tell everybody was already like, oh my god. But honestly, it seemed like everybody really liked Joey once they like got past his quirks um, and stuff. Liked him or tolerated him? No, it seemed like the house guests all really liked him. Really? Yeah. Okay. I had my issues with him just because, like, he was a complainer and it seemed like he didn't really want to be there and play until, like, that last few days when he was actually, like, trying. Yeah. Um, but I just can't get over that freaking wall competition when he was complaining over and over and over again. That was I, too much. I thought it was hilarious that he made the apparatus uh, in the weight room so that he could do oh. his tiny movements from the jump rope. Yeah. <laughs> so he could do the. It was over fascinating. The, yeah. I don't, I don't do small movements. He doesn't like to sweat. No. Okay. All right, Cato. Um, he's like. This a, made me really he's sad. He's like a dad. He reminds me. Uh, okay, hear me out. Like he probably should be. He probably would have been a dad if he had like had uh, someone else what? to breed with. I mean, he's, he's a old enough to be a vet. So well, the guy doesn't have to be young. But anyway, um... <laughs> Where's this going? I mean, he's like of dad age. Where is this going? Okay, he's like 59 or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, he might be even grandpa age. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say... Think of Wayne's world. He mm -hmm. reminds me, looks wise, he looks wise, he's a Garth, mm -hmm. but personality wise, I'm getting a Wayne because yeah. he also reminds me of like a blonde Austin Powers, not British. Do you get that too? Yeah. It's like a really weird, like Mike Myers, 90s Mike Myers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I feel like Cato thinks he's really funny. But he's not. Sometimes he is. He's pretty witty. Um, but then when he's like really trying, like he was really trying to make Ricky laugh and it was not yeah. happening. Um, the only thing that made Ricky laugh was these nuts. Ricky loves these nuts. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? <laughs> that was a huge thing. It was. And I loved it. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> the fight over the grocery list. This was ridiculous. We did not get to see this full thing on feeds. They cut it. It was Tamar and Lolo. Yeah. And they were making up a grocery list. And Which they got to do all the time. They got to request yeah. all their expensive ass I can't foods. believe they have freaking sound machines, too. Yeah. Come on. Let's put our sound machines on the same setting at the same time. <laughs> all right. So Lolo needed sea bass. And she guys, has certain requirements as an Olympic athlete who was in training. Did you know that she was in the Olympics? No, I didn't it's know. It's her Olympic dream. Well, anyway, she never requests things. And this was the first time in four or five days that she requested a protein. And Tamar had the nerve to tell her that she should order less. Well, because didn't Tamar want lamb chops or something? Yeah, well, okay, so there was more to it, too. So You all need to stop eating so much damn meat. Right? Go vegan. What? So Tamar was saying you should just ask for a few pieces because usually they go all out with the fish and they don't want it to go bad because she didn't think a lot of people were going to eat it. Mm -hmm. But apparently she put some smarky, smarky, smarky? Snarky, <laughs> snarky little note on the grocery list Ooh. and Lolo did not like that. And she was like, your pork chops cost just as much. Lamb chops, what is it? I don't know. She's eating, She's been eating both. I don't even remember. All right. Uh, you two need to grow up. And I mean, Lolo, this is one of the examples where Lolo just goes off the handle and she just mountains out of molehills. I, I can't believe that this was like the 
exciting you know like the oh this is the highlights of the there season. were so many other things that did not make the show that they could have shown tonight there was no cereal box osprey either well that did make the main show so yeah but we could have seen so some other most of this other stuff we could have seen some other tom stuff that he did late at night yeah all right uh then we have the ridiculous ryan and joey uh, bromance. I mean, they were inseparable, especially we're, after Jonathan was we're evicted. Like peanut butter and vagina jelly. It's the jelly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do I you prefer, guys watch Bojack? <laughs> I prefer vagina jelly. I'm gonna leave you with that. I hope nobody cuts that for your sake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You said it. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, yeah, they were always hanging out. They were having a good time. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. That's all I have to say about that. It was, it was ridiculous because they only shared one brain between them. <laughs> Why? Joey's smart. Yes. That's the one brain. Oh. <laughs> and you're, okay. Get it now. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, Lolo was really jealous of Ryan's relationship with Joey. Mm -hmm. So jealous that she had to flip off Ryan and Jonathan's pictures. Look, she was jealous of Ryan and Jonathan as well. Anyone getting close to Ryan, Go she was team jealous. Go Team USA. That's so not Team USA. Th that whole situation was ridiculous. But do you think that Ryan and Lolo have been in the Olympics? No. <laughs> I don't see how. I'm not sure. I have to look it up on Wikipedia. Um, well, they're not the only ones who knew each other before the show. Tamar and Candy knew each other. They have a 20 year history. Dang. No wonder why they were fighting. They were not in good standing when they entered the house either. And I have to say, they're They've come a long way, baby. They're like arc this season. Mm hmm. One of the if not the best moments of the season. Just they, like watching them was so much fun. Mm -hmm. It was so nice to see them getting along. And yeah. I hope that they can continue it outside of the house. Yeah. All right, now we need to talk about something very, very important. <laughs> Who are you voting for for America's favorite player? I really hope you're going to say Thomas Green. <laughs> I really hope so. I mean, so. it's up to you guys. I feel like it's going to be between... Joey. Really? You think Joey? You just said everybody liked him I so said much. in the house. Oh. Um, I would say it's going to be Tom, Tamar, and then I'm not sure who else is going to round out the top three. You think? <laughs> I don't know. It's tough to say. It's really tough to say. Because so, there's such just a... Just for those gamer glasses alone. <laughs> They do look like gamer glasses. Yeah. There's such a difference between the way that the feeds viewers vote and yeah. the way that the casuals vote. So there's like no predicting. Right. I mean, there's some predicting how the casuals are going to vote. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We'll see. Wh who do you think the casuals are going to vote for? I don't know. I think Joey. I think Tamar's going to get a lot of I think Tom's going to get a lot of casuals too. There. I think Tom will get a lot of casuals. All right, Lolo is single. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> She's not just single, though. She's a virgin. And it's not like she was like, hey, do me, and they were like, no. It's because she has morals. I mean, everybody does their own thing. You gotta respect that. I don't care about that. Yeah, you I really don't. You can be a virgin all you want. I don't I really care. Don't care. <laughs> I don't know why they're making such a big deal out of it. But Let her live her virgin life. She is desperate to get some a gifts husband. from a husband. Yeah. <sighs> I I can't. Let's okay. just move on. Okay. Tom had cancer. Yeah. Did you know? I did know that. <laughs> we all knew. He's been through a lot. Um, I wish they would have shown more of his story. Like mm -hmm. on the show. Show. Right. Not just on the feeds. It's it's just so hard because this season... a real missed opportunity. This season is so short. There's so much to get to. So it's even more... What's the word? Like truncated? Yeah. It's more than a regular season. You know, they have more time to spread things out over a regular season. Well, this is all like... Blah, blah, blah. You know what? Instead of the freaking Trump chat or whatever, they could have talked about like early prevention and... 
They, yeah. That was a real missed opportunity, and I'm really disappointed about it. The point here is if you think there's something wrong, go to the doctor. Don't be embarrassed. Catch it early. Take her, for example, kidney stones. Yeah. She had kidneys full of stones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time for the Big Brother Redemption Tour. It's time All for right. everybody to talk about their bad stuff and say... I'm still a good person. Well, who's got the baddest stuff? Ryan. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was really bad. It was pretty bad. So he tells the Olympic story in his in his version. I still don't know. I just touched the sign and it fell over and they came out with guns. I still don't know what actually happened here. I feel like, you know? I feel like what he told was not 100% accurate. No. It might have been what he thought happened. I mean, he did mention they were wasted. Yeah. So, what are the chances that his memories of this are even reliable? He's yeah. not a reliable narrator. Can we just go no. to all these books now with the unreliable narrators? <laughs> There's going to be one with this story in it. Yeah. Uh, he got upset when all of his tiny fans were like, you're not my role model anymore. I'm going to root for Michael Phelps. <laughs> no, but um, I do feel bad for him because I'm sure it's really difficult to have, like, your whole country being like, oh. It's really difficult to be privileged and then, like, have that taken away from you. I mean, he did work hard. He's not just like, you know. I know, but he effing blew it. No, I know. I'm just, I'm not defending what he did. I'm just saying, like, I understand that it was difficult for him but mm -hmm. I'm glad that he's got like some normalcy now well you know what he's got Dina behind him because she believes him <laughs> verbatim I followed the story I know you're te you're telling the truth all right so Mark McGrath um, <laughs> has to speak out for Tom Green because he's not there for him he said, yo I don't know if you know this but Tom did some crazy shit while you guys are sleeping he liked to stay up late he didn't want to freak you guys out <laughs> he made up songs and Dina freaking killed it on that freestyle rap. I was like, whoa, is that Dina? Oh, Dina. Who told her to say that? She did. It's like every <laughs> once in a while, you know, she's like a corrupted hard drive. She just kicks it in and it like yeah, right? works a little bit. <laughs> she and, knows what's going on yeah. in the game. It's she's funny. making uh, some, some raps up yeah. about it. Nice. All right, so the dreaded diary room. Oh. I love this. I always love when they show the DR stuff. Joey's making up his grocery list. He's this was okay. It. This was like the highlight of the episode for me, I would say, when they were showing them being divas, like asking for all this stuff mm -hmm. in the DR and being like, Tamar wants you to ask her mom what time she was born. I guess that's for the star chart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I guess she got an answer too, because I'm pretty sure that Ricky yeah. was able to read her chart. Um, and we need this, and we need butt wipes, and we need a lot of toilet paper. It was pretty emotional in there too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's some divas. A lot of tears, a lot of anger, a lot of uh, Tamar screeching. <laughs> I enjoy that. I like oh, that a lot. God. <laughs> oh my god! Lots of. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what did I even write here? It looks like bowl. You wrote cowl neck cry. Oh, okay. But it looks like bowl mech koi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when Tamar went fully into her sweater. Classic. But that was a moment. That's a classic That's a moment. moment now. All right, so the HOH comp was teased. Mm-hmm. Guess who's showed up? Marissa from last season. Good morning, Marissa. <laughs> yep, she's the host, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's Bats the Musical. <laughs> she was really dressed for winter, but they're in California. What did Is I, it that cold? What did I say it was? <laughs> oh, oh, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> she misheard it. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So I loved the house guest bat costumes. I thought mm -hmm. they were super cute with they the were. wings and the little headbands. They were. So this is fun because, okay, there's two platforms. Mm -hmm. This is a puzzle comp, but mm -hmm. it's also sort of physical because yeah. you need to fly from one uh, platform to the other and complete your puzzle, which is on like a magnetic board. 
But you do it 20 seconds at a time. Right. So if you don't make it back to hit your buzzer before the 20 seconds All is up. All your pieces fall. <laughs> and then you have, what was it, 10 seconds to reset? Yeah. Reset your timer? Like that. But at least you're not eliminated. Yeah, that's true. So that's I good. guess they figured what happens if everyone gets eliminated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tamar is scared. Yeah. So she's afraid Whatever. of heights. Do you guys remember when she was trying to exit the wall competition? I will never forget that. Ah! Ah! Well, we got a little scram a little sample of that scream again. It didn't look like the platforms were that high off the ground. How do people put up with all that screaming? <laughs> How do you put up with me? <laughs> You're not that bad. Okay. She's you times three and a half all right well they didn't show the whole competition it was just the beginning but rest assured tamar did start swinging back and forth so she mm -hmm. is in it yeah and everybody was working on their puzzles so all right again if you guys don't want to wait right, until right, right. <laughs> until the finale on wednesday to find out who won that you can check out the spoiler videos hey are they doing the um the veto right now yeah <gasps> Ooh, check out the spoiler <laughs> for that too. I'm dying to see who wins that veto. I know, right? That's a big one. Ooh, baby. I got the big one. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. We'll see you on finale night. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow too. Ah! But, you know. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you then. And until then. Much, much love. love.